Yeah, yeah. Every single time yeah. they've got to they've got to just trust. I, I think the most important thing is the breath. And you talk about this all the time. You started this whole podcast with the right. breath in. Right. They, they take that breath, they take a step and they trust. Right. Yeah. And that's, that's very, very important. Um, I mean, it, for life in general, really. Right. Um, right. Uh, you know, you have started so many programs, music programs, and um, I want to talk a little bit about some of the programs that are that are near and dear to your heart. Um, mm. You do you do some. You always look like you're having fun when you're when you're performing with students or helping students to perform as well. Um, can you talk a little bit about some of the programs? Yeah. So we we have general choir classes. So anybody who's interested can come and they can be a part of the classes. They, they start first thing in the morning at seven. Uh, one of them, uh, or yeah, just one of them starts at seven. Uh, mm-hmm. And then for the the kids that aren't quite as keen to get up so early, right. just regular <laughs> during the day classes. So they can be in any of the grades. I teach grade eight to 12 and they can come to, uh, they can join a, a choir class that meets three times a week and and we we sing, we do uh, theory, history, we but we it's more just learning how to how to do the music, how to how to make sounds successfully, yeah. how to how to read the music successfully, um, and doing varieties of of music, like you said, Cindy Lauper, to, although <laughs> not Chopin in the choir case, but um, so uh, but then I have other classes that are a bit more uh, driven for for students who want a bit more of a challenge. And I've got students who are in everything from the, the regular choir classes, plus they want to come at seven in the morning uh, and be a part of the more advanced ensemble. So there's a senior chamber choir that we're going this coming year to uh, Germany and Austria and uh, wow. Prague. And so we'll be singing at the birthplace of Bach and singing wow. uh, his music. Uh, uh, it will be, will, be, the, will be appealing to the students who want more of a challenge. Um, and then they can get some incredible experiences that way. So those are the classes. There's a big variety, and it's life's too short for just one thing. It's good to have the variety. Absolutely, and I know that, and I know that you you really believe that because you have been quoted saying that music is life. Can you expand <laughs> on this a little bit more? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, breath. Right. <laughs> what is more important for for anything other than breath? Again, yes. going back, you started with it. It's it's foundational and it's life. And and there's a really beautiful quote. Um, Al, an Algerian I can't say it. Algerian writer. Uh, her name is Mina Kadra, and she. I think it sums up my feeling about music. Music is the true breath of life. We mm. eat. So we won't starve to death. We sing so we can hear ourselves live. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. And it, it no matter what it's in, it's important. It could be your your thing could be athletics. It could be art. Uh, your thing is art as well, for those who mm-hmm. don't know. Uh, it's it's <laughs> Thanks, <brought>. David. <laughs> You are variety, Miss Darville. <laughs> Thank you. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. You're but right it's... about the about the 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 breath and, um, yeah, because it, it's it's really you are actually teaching you are teaching people to breathe. Literally, you are teaching people to breathe at to all breathe day long or, or to live. Long. Yeah. Yeah, all yeah. day long, right? Yeah, um, it's funny. I, sorry, go on. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're my guest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like it though. Uh, you you bring so much that's of incredible value. Um, wow. I think that I, I've heard so often that people say, "Take a breath." Have you heard people yes. say that? Stop. Take a breath. And I, no, you can't. Where do you? Get exactly. It? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Try to grab it and take it somewhere. It, it's really the allowance of the air. You have to allow the air in, and whether that's yoga or whether that's music, uh, 
we have to allow the breath right. to take us where we're going to go because we can't go, we can't take it. No, no, it just it flows in, it flows in, and it flows out. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is your greatest musical adventure? Oh wow! I know you have wow. lots of them. I know, and. Uh, it, it's interesting because I've gone all over. I've performed at Carnegie Hall in New York. I've been at the Royal Albert Hall on stage. Um, but I, I think it was in Russia uh, that my one of my favorite. But I've had so many. So, but in Russia, well, tell, us, I was, tell us several. <laughs> I was coming off of the stage in Russia, and it was uh, Putin. This was twenty years ago. He was. He was in the audience, but he wasn't there when he left. Uh, it, like he, he wasn't still in the audience. Like he was the last person to come in and the first to leave with his cadre mm-hmm. of, of black, uh, very serious looking protectors. Right. And, and it was with, it was in Russia. I think it was in St. Petersburg that as soon as the performance ended, I, there were all these wonderful women like the, so many men die of uh, liver disease because drinking alcohol, vodka, it's right. huge. Yeah. And so men don't live as long as they do in other parts of uh, the industrialized world because of the, the liver problems. But the minister of culture for Russia came up to me and they speak very, very low. They've had hard life. Yeah. Life's yeah. not been easy. No. And he said, do you like this hall? And he's just so serious. And I was like, what? Because that's not me. <laughs> and uh, I just said, oh, I loved it. It was beautiful. And the piano, seriously, it was the nicest piano I'd ever played in my life. Wow. Um, it was a Bergendorfer and it, like butter. Oh. And I'd been talking with all of the, the hundred men in the, in the choir about this piano. It was just heaven. And, and after... I said how lovely the piano was. The hall was so beautiful. He, he was quiet for a second. Then, then he went, good. Tchaikovsky <laughs> liked it too. <laughs> and then he walked away. And I was like, what? <laughs> you you so, played where Tchaikovsky played. I played where Tchaikovsky played. Can, can, you, talk yeah. a, can you talk a little bit about Kiri Takanawa? <laughs> <laughs> well, Kiri, she she owes everything to me. I sort of made that that girl. No, I I just showed up on stage and sang with about I think it was around 150 other men um, mm. in in the it was the uh, what was it Vancouver Men's Chorus? No, the uh, Vancouver Welsh Men's Choir. So it was the I don't know, but some choir I was in 30 years ago. And and she was on stage it, out, out on an outside stage in Burnaby, and it was just so beautiful. Um, so she she won't know me. I barely saw her, but what a voice. And what a voice, huh? Sense. Katie yeah. Lang. I was on stage, the same stage as Katie Lang, and <gasps> she was totally punk Western, and she was riding on the floor in 1982, and I was, I'm no Simon Cowell because I, I said, oh, that girl's going nowhere. <laughs> yes, she's going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and voila, right? Um, voila. <laughs> voila. Here you go. The Canadian Chanteuse. Wow. Wow. Yes, wow. really. Well, you know, but since then, you've become a very good judge of character, David, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did you... sit right beside Elton John. That's... Elton John sang Baba Black Sheep right beside me. Nobody That's... else was there. And you... Him did... and his and you try... and... So did you do a duet with him on that one? I was humming inside. <laughs> you were humming inside. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Call it. <laughs> what a treat. What a treat. You are a gem. Thank you for having me on. Um, David, thank you so much for being here. We will have you on again because I love talking to you. And, um, <laughs> you know, if you'd like more information about today's topic, you, you can you can always email David Buchan at, at Collingwood School. Is that correct? Yes. David.Buchan yes. 
at collingwood.org. Yeah, if you have any questions. And um, many thanks again for being here, David, on Yin Yoga Lifestyle, of course. And we'll get to your yoga postures next time. Uh, next time we have your uh, your pod- we have a podcast with you. Um, and please don't forget to check us out at yinyogalifestyle.com, adding enlightenment, calm, and balance, and creativity to your everyday life. Thank you for joining Yin Yoga Lifestyle. I am your host, Colette Darville. Join us next time to continue our journey of balancing into a state of perfect harmony. Until then, this is Colette Darville reminding you to inhale so and exhale hum.